So hi, Micro Pantry here again. Today, this today's question is a little bit different. Uh, it's actually about uh, my YouTube channel. It's actually the second question I'm receiving uh, about from people who are interested in, in making their own microscopy YouTube channel and they want to have my my device. So I'm going to read it out to you. Hello. I've recently started a YouTube channel about things under the microscope. I have also started an Instagram account. I've seen your YouTube channel and seen that you were one of the biggest YouTubers that did this and you made me want to do it. I'm curious um, how you grew your channel and if it makes decent money. I want to get into the YouTube, but I don't want to start something as a career if it isn't if, if there isn't much money in it. I just want some advice uh, to know if doing a channel similar to yours is worth it. Thanks a lot. So, of course, thank you very much uh, for uh, your question. And I have to admit uh, that I'm quite happy that I was not evidently not only able to motivate uh, other people to pick up microscopy as a hobby, but also to make YouTube videos and to share uh, the things that they see under the microscope. I think uh, that's pretty nice. Um, I'm not the biggest YouTuber in microscopy. Of course, there's a channel called Journey to the Microcosmos. Many of you might already know that course, who has many more viewers and also subscribers. Um, your question was my, uh, mainly directed towards, is it really worth uh, making a YouTube channel? Um, and what did I do to grow the channel? And uh, what about the money issue? Um, I tell you the following. Your last question here is, is um, the channel similar to you is worth it? Um, for me, the, the, what do you mean with worth? Um, the worth that I see is, is not necessarily the money that the, the little amount of money that the YouTube channel makes, um, because as a matter of fact, I'm more or less still losing more money uh, because, uh, over this channel and what I'm making. The reason is, is because I could use the time also to give, let's say, tutoring lessons or to teach something uh, to other people. And this would actually, actually gain me a, a salary, a real one. Um, and I already have a job, of course, and therefore this YouTube channel I see as a you know, as a pretty serious hobby of mine um, because in this process of making the YouTube channels uh, I've learned so much about making videos I've learned so much about microscopy myself um, about social media and I think that this is actually much more for me much more important for me than the money uh, that I'm gaining even though I have to admit I'm really grateful um, for this uh, because uh, uh, at the same time, it allows me to buy products that I can then also make a review. So uh, it kind of uh, helps me to reduce my losses a little bit, uh, to, say, uh, to say it in such a way. Um, so in other words, what I'm trying to tell you also is, is um, if you want to make a YouTube channel like this or any YouTube channel for that, for that matter, there are a couple of things that you have to have. You've got to have, of course, passion for the things that you're doing. That's really important. Um, and uh, you also have to have a lot of patience uh, because uh, it might take actually many months or many, many years before the channel um, actually starts to produce money. Okay, um, And even if it starts to produce money, uh, it might not be a lot. Um, there has been an article some time ago that which they've done a study that even very big YouTubers with millions of subscribers, many of them barely can live uh, from uh, the money that the channel produces. Um, so you see, um, there have to be other motivating factors here as well. Otherwise, it's simply too difficult to keep up the motivation. If you're going to say maybe in three years or maybe in five years, I'm going to um, earn a little bit of money, you know. <sighs> What are you going to do until that time, right? Um, so my motivation is, is, is more to help other people. Um, also, it's a learning process and a self-development process. And this is a lot of value already. Okay. Um, and uh, of course, the supporters that I get, that is really highly appreciated because this actually um, it shows um, that actually the things that I'm making, the time that I'm investing is also valued. Okay. Um, and not only with a like uh, or a subscribe that is imp really important and, and i'm really grateful for that but uh, some people also uh, contribute financially and this allows me also to spend even more time doing uh, product reviews and talking about the th different things that i'm buying so uh, the thing that i'm trying to say here is, is, is please um, do start a youtube channel but uh, don't be disappointed if um, yeah if it does not produce um, a lot of tangible results at the beginning. At the beginning, you can even be happy if you get a few subscribers. That's tough going. Yeah, that's normal. Um, but that is kind of a little bit, uh, how shall I say, the admission test into YouTube. Uh, um, is this, uh, do you have the determination and the nerve to, to keep on producing videos and uploading them, even though there is no um, measurable positive result during the first couple of months? I mean, that's the, the tough 
yeah, I think I, I remember that uh, at the very beginning I, I opened a YouTube channel, uh, uploaded videos. The channel could not even be found on YouTube, even though I typed in exactly uh, the, the, the right search keys. Okay, it was ranked that badly; it didn't even show up on YouTube. And, and you got to kind of dive through that uh, <laughs> that difficult phase at the beginning, right? And in order to do that, you need a lot of motivation, a self-determined motivation. And I think money alone cannot be that motivation because there will be other people who will actually show that passion, um, and uh, then it will actually also reflect in the videos that they make. Yeah? So um, I also have another recommendation if you have multiple interests and microscopy being one of them and maybe also other interests the question is should I open a second YouTube channel or should I make different videos in, in the same channel and I highly recommend that you open a second YouTube channel um, and then um, explore a little bit more maybe a, a, a different topic a different niche actually works better or maybe you have an easier time actually to, to make uh, videos for the other niche as well and uh, so you have to give it a little bit of time and a little bit learn hands-on um, as you make videos so what works and what doesn't work and uh, for example at the beginning when I started off this channel here I did not expect that I'm going to end up uh, doing question and answer sessions something I totally did not know um, it didn't even occur to me <laughs> and that's a completely new format which somehow developed over time so you see that uh, sometimes you cannot plan things always in advance um, because you simply don't have enough information. I didn't have this information. I just said, okay, I want to do a second YouTube channel where I'm talking about microscope hardware, maybe do a few product reviews. What, what happened? I'm doing Q&A sessions uh, and this seems to be quite popular as well, right? Something I totally didn't think about that this could be a possibility. Um, so I highly recommend that you give yourself a little bit of, of especially at the beginning, some, some flexibility also to experiment around a little bit what works, what does not work but that you actually stick to it and that you have a certain determination um, and that you don't give up uh, too quickly when the results are not there. So I think that's really important. Um, otherwise, I have to say that uh, um, one thing that is not quite often mentioned is, is that uh, every, if you have a YouTube channel or in Instagram or whatever, then this is also a good motivation which uh, to actually engage more in microscopy um, because then you have a reason to take pictures or to improve the image quality or the video quality. Um, so you have something to work towards and you also have a, a good excuse, so to say, to improve yourself. Because ever since I've got a YouTube channel, actually, uh, I'm using the microscope more often, <laughs> frankly speaking. I'm now motivated. I said, okay, I have to think of a topic. Um, okay, what am I going to talk? Okay, on how to find amoeba. Okay, uh, I'm going to make a video on this. Okay, how do you find amoeba? Okay, and then I'm going on and I'm making a video on that. And then I'm growing amoeba in a jar. Okay, something that I would not have done if I ha had not had this YouTube channel. Uh, or now I have to do a little bit of research concerning microscope optics if there are people who have a question concerning this and so on and so on. So you see a, a, a channel like this has also a value because it positively reflects um, on the activity and I think this is not only for microscopy but for any YouTube channel um, that you um, intend uh, to make. I think uh, that's uh, basically all I want to say. Um, yeah, uh, get started, uh, be patient um, and uh, do not uh, consider money as the only driving and motivating factor because as a matter of fact it could be that there are many more opportunities um, opening up as you go along which are not directly to financial compensation right all of a sudden because maybe you find a job because you're good in video editing you know <laughs> and where did you learn the video editing by making youtube videos on microscopy who knows okay um, or you improve your speaking abilities uh, who knows, you know, uh, the thing is, is there are so many spin-off um, advantages as well that are kind of difficult to predict from the beginning. I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always. See you around next time. Do leave your comments, please. And I always appreciate subscribers. Bye-bye. <laughs>